Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering something that's been going around Whiskey Tube for a little while now. This right here is the Deanston 18 year old. Now, you might be thinking that this is a bit of an odd looking tube. If you look at most of the reviews on YouTube, we're talking about the old style uh, kind of liveries, the kind of marketing on this, it's kind of this brownie looking thing. This is the new style bottling. Now, from what I can tell, there's not much that's changed in terms of the actual makeup of this. It's still made in the, relatively the same way. But I understand that some people were a bit upset about the quality changes, possibly. But I have to say, from my perspective, I actually haven't tried the previous Deanston, so I'm going to come at this with a bit more of a fresher perspective on it, just reviewing this bottle for what it is rather than what it used to be and now is. Now, one thing I will want to get into before we talk about this is just a few little items on the labels that concerns me and I don't like. Um, the main one is, if you can see here, it says, non-chill filtered and aged in first fill bourbon casks. Now, it's not actually true, or maybe technically it is true, but it's not the complete picture. Now, it, it is finished in first fill bourbon casks, but it's actually been aged for around about 16 years in second and you know, further on refill casks, then it's been finished in first fill casks. But it doesn't say that anywhere on the bottle or on the label. You have to find that out for yourself online. So that's a little bit misleading, Deanston. Not a huge fan of that. The other thing to note as well is that although it says non-chill filtered, it doesn't say natural colouring. But it does say in various places, like on the back here, natural ingredients, water, malted barley, and yeast. Now, again, if your whiskey is natural colour, personally, I think you should you should say so. Uh, that said, conversely uh, to SWA rules, which don't exist on this particular situation, is that you should have to say it if there's added colour, I think. So the real crux of this is I don't think this is added colour. That's the real part of it. I don't think this added colour. It's pretty light all things considered. So if it is added color, then you'd think they'd add a little bit more to it. But if there is added color, then we've got some real problems here because it's not stating it, it's making it seem like it isn't uh, and giving that extra bit of quality. But that's my, kind of my whinge bagging over really. Um, it, really minor points and like I said, if you're watching this sort of video, then you probably clued up enough to know to look to find out what this kind of like aged in first full bourbon casks in. But yeah, it's a nitpick. Let's move on, don't wanna talk about it too much. Now this bottle here came my way as part of my Summerton Club membership. If you're not sure who they are, I've talked about them a lot on the channel. Uh, I, every two months they charge me 50 pounds and they send me a bottle of whiskey. Lots of people in the UK are doing this right now. Unfortunately, they don't spread any further than that, but you know, if you're in the UK, go and check them out. You don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. Even if I asked the guy who was doing it, he wouldn't tell me because it's a good surprise to have. This month, I think, this was the month of February, so I'm a, a little bit late reviewing this, but I think they've outdone themselves this month, I have to say, because to get something like this for 50 quid, bear in mind, the price on this fluctuates a lot, and we'll go into whether I think that's good value later, but you can pick this up for as little as 60 quid without the Summerton Club, and as much as like 80 quid. Lord knows what you pay abroad for this, but let me know in the comments below what this goes for in your local region. But my point is to get this a £50 delivered to your door, no extra charges, is pretty damn special. And I'm very, very pleased with it. It's 46.3%, which is a good ABV. You know, we like that sort of thing. Let's get into it and see what we've got. Now, as I mentioned earlier, colour-wise, we're not sure. We're pretty sure, but not sure that it's no added colour. So, you know, we can talk about that like beautiful little dancey colour there. Let's get onto the nose and see what we've got. Now, the first thing to note is it's, it's quite a light dram, but it's fairly complex, I have to say, for its lightness. For me, it's bags of honey, lots of vanillas, and a kind of biscuit cerealness that goes on as well. And oddly, for me, I get a touch of kind of aniseediness on the back end of it. It's really, really, really faint, but it's there for me. You might get something completely different, of course. Let's try on the palette. Mm. Now, initial mouthfeel, 
I sometimes say a little watery. It's not fair to say. It is neither watery nor particularly viscous. It's just a really nice mouthfeel. Another sip. But there's bags of flavour going on here. Way more of those honey notes. Loads more of those vanillas. And for me, it kind of constantly changes between like a kind of tropical note, kind of banana -y elements to it, along with a little bit of ginger, that sort of thing. And then at the back end, there's this kind of like really weird, tannicky, leathery note to it. It's kind of very oaky. Not very oaky, but it's there's some oakiness going to it. I, I don't want to give you the impression that it's a good oaky whiskey because it's very light on that sort of thing. Mm. But I think this is one of those whiskies that's going to evolve for me as the as the bottle goes down. You can see I've enjoyed a little bit of this in the in the month I've had it. I haven't kind of reached to it very often. I've been coming back to it maybe two or three times a week just for a little wee nip. And since I've had it, now that's going to go in the cabinet and I'm going to struggle to reach past it, I have to admit. Right. Let's talk about value then. Obviously, there's no doubting here that the amount I paid for it, the 50 quid, is an absolute bargain. If you could pick that up for that at retail, this would fly off the shelves. And to be fair, I think it pretty much does fly off the shelves a little. When you're getting it on the lower end, the 60 quid mark, 65 pound, again, I think you're still getting pretty much a bargain. When you start pushing up into the kind of 70, 80 pound mark, I have to say, I think it's still worth the money. Maybe a little bit more of a consideration. It fits in quite well with the other 18-year-olds on the market. And it really depends on the kind of flavour profile you're looking for. Obviously, if you're looking for big, bold, peaty flavours, you're probably not going to get that here, obviously. Um, but if you're after a kind of whiskey that isn't a casual sipping whiskey, it's a little bit more interesting than that. But it's one of those ones where you can really sit there of an evening with your Glencarn, if you, if you so wish, and just smell it and, and get into the whiskey and see what's changing in the glass maybe over over time you know i've left this sat out for a little while before i started filming but you might leave it out for the 18 minutes that sometimes suggested or longer and i have a feeling you might get something different every time you stick your nose in this but yeah i'm very impressed with that very glad i've got it uh it, one of those ones that seem to have passed me by a little bit obviously loads of people if you go onto onto youtube search right now there's probably 20 or 30 different reviews of this thing throughout the years. Most of them are going to be the old style bottling. So, you know, just be careful of that because although I understand that the, as I said at the beginning of the show, the, the actual way it's made is ex-bourbon casks finished in first fill. That hasn't changed, but some people believe that the quality might have changed a little bit. There you go. But in any case, let me know what you think about this. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Do you agree with what I've said? Have you tried the old one? and a new one and think that there's some kind of difference to it, let me know.